Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. and we're happy that they've been integrated into the car okay. With any luck, you'll be able to feel the improvement, so give them a try. Time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Richards, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. What an incredible practice session. The fun doesn't stop here though. Join us again as the rest of the weekend unfolds. for tomorrow's race but before we begin let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid Bottas Leclerc and Max Verstappen well that wraps up qualifying but don't worry we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix
With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Richards, Sebastian Vettel, and Albon. Perez, Stroll, Sainz, and Daniel Ricciardo. Gasly, Fiat, Roman Grosjean, and Hamilton. They've taken a grid penalty. Magnussen, Raikkonen, Esteban Ocon, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone.
accumulating some wear on the MG UK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS deployment mode. We have a very worn out MG UK. Our battery charge speed is suffering and if it gets much worse, we could be forced to retire. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. You've lost some time to the car behind. Reaching a danger point with the wear on the MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. job you've done everything we wanted today a difficult race then on a circuit that demands complete concentration but they've persevered to take the win here today Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. So let's review the updated driver standings. Richards increases their championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. How are you feeling after that win? You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Well, looks like your luck has changed. Things went a lot better than last weekend, didn't they?
you're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Great, well that's everything. We've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix.